Okay, so I'm ready to mount the, the LED strips into the 3D print. Here's the 3D print. I've, uh, I've put down all of my LED strips. I've used copper tape to uh, connect all of the positive rail that I had to cut through so that my LED strip followed the profile of the A. I've also attached this crossbar here in parallel with the main uh, line of LEDs and I've added in my micro USB uh, little socket there and I've sewn in the wires and I've kind of pushed them flat there so that when the whole thing's mounted inside the 3D print um, it's all pushed down to the bottom. Okay so let me see I've got my glue gun here which I'm going to be using to glue the micro USB socket in um, and my 3D print here still has the raft because earlier on I thought it might be quite handy to be able to mount the micro USB port and use that raft basically to to make sure the USB socket goes in the right place. It's a nice flush finish. We'll see if that was a good idea when I take the raft off, I guess. So, uh, just double check again, is everything good? Yep, everything looks fine. Okay, so. Uh, I'm going to push this in, and I would be able to pull this out, theoretically, but I, I guess this is pretty much like a one-way deal. That's the feeling I have, anyway. Now, I don't really can hear that as I go as I go in there, it's rubbing. It's such a tight fit, it's rubbing against the grain here of the 3D print. And this is actually, I think this is great, because it's going to effectively hold the LED strip and the card in place, or at least that's the idea. I mean, should we add some glue to put this in place or some double-sided tape or something maybe but I guess it's early days for the project I'm going to go with this and just hope it works out just make sure it's pushed in everywhere I'm going to get my pinky in there to get in that gap yeah looks that looks nice okay and that looks really good that looks superb okay so this micro USB socket, and of course if I'd wired it, no the wiring there is fine, it's just the colours was wrong wasn't it? That's fine, I can do that, and I can push it in there. That looks like it's going to be really rather good. Okay, so I like it. So I'm going to do the gluing now and for this purpose I'm going to wear some protective gloves and if I'm not mistaken yeah that's hot. I've got it on a piece of paper towel in case it just drips and I'm going to have to be quite rapid here I feel. How am I going to do this? I'm going to, I'm thinking I'm going to just hold that back, put some glue in and then push it in place. And I think that looks going to be rather good. Yeah, okay. Let's do this. So I'm going to hold that back. Glue gun in. And I'm glad I'm wearing gloves because I just caught my finger then. And push that down into place. Okay, I do need to hold it there for quite some time for the glue to start to set. But I'm feeling quite good about that. That looks nice. Now, to make sure that that little socket doesn't go anywhere, let's pull that back for a second. What I'm going to do, I think, is add in some more glue around it. Put a little bit on that side and then let it just drip in. Know whether you can hear me blowing there. Put a bit on this side. Again, I'm just going to let that drip in. Tip it to the side there. Make sure these little whiskers of glue are pulled away. 
And that looks pretty solid to me. I'm liking the look of that. Okay, so gloves off. Let's see what happens when I peel away on the raft. Yeah, look at that. That's really nice. Just nice and flush because here that backing of the raft just allowed me to push the socket flush with the edge. It looks really smart. Hmm. Now, the raft is being a bit of a pain here. Ah, you've got to kind of work a little bit. There you go. That can be recycled. Just cleaning up that edge there. Now what, what I should do here really is perhaps just get a, bit, a, a scraper or some abrasive paper and just clean that up there, but I haven't got any available. But I'll tell you what, I'll pause the video and get some now. So I've got a, got a scraper here. I'm just going to put the left glove on because I'm going to be just scraping with that left hand potentially exposed. There you go. That's it. I'm happy with that. Dip it in there. Okay, good. Let's try that USB socket again. That should be a nice, tight, neat fit. Very nice. There it is. And that feels solid. Just trying to kind of wobble the wire there. And that feels pretty solid. It's had time to dry now. Okay, so here we go. I've got to screw this on. What will it look like? Illuminated. Pretty nice. I think I think I've got away with only one length of LED strips down there. That looks pretty awesome, I have to say. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead now. And uh, I'm going to I'm going to glue it together. Okay, so to glue the acrylic onto the ABS plastic, I'm going to use some modeling glue. Um, this is like Airfix glue. Um, uh, it's uh, I think it's basically uh, mostly uh, acetone inside this um, with another chemical, um, which effectively melts the plastic together. Um, and before I glue it all together, what I want to do is make sure that this this is really nice and neat and clean. So actually what I'm going to do is just give this a quick wash and a dry and then I'll come back and I'll, I'll apply the glue. Okay, so I've given this a wash and a dry and I think we're ready to rock and roll. So I'm going to apply this, uh, this glue, this solvent. I'm going to take the lid off here. And originally this had like a long metal tube on. But I took it off because it wasn't really helping. And now you've got to do this without really pressing the tube because as I run this, he says, and let's just let's just make sure this is coming out. Okay, well that's not very clever because it's actually set in the uh, the tube there. So let me see if I can fix that. So I've got a thumbtack here. Let's see if I, see if I can just push that in and clear the nozzle. Yep, yeah, that's definitely jammed. Gosh, that is surprising. Don't want to stab myself here. I think we've done it. Here with me. Okay, is it coming out? Yes, it's coming out now. Wonderful. Okay, so you'll have to just be aware of that. Um, in fact, I think what I'm going to do, I'm probably going to seal this that's a really good idea. When I finish using this, I'll just seal it with a thumbtack. I like that. <laughs> Probably find the thumbtack thumb tack gets stuck. But with it being an acetone-based solvent, it should be okay. Okay, so though I'm not squeezing at all. I'm literally just letting it run out onto the top edge of the wall there. And then I've got to make sure I remember where I begin applying glue. It also helps as well if you've got plenty of light because then the light shines off 
the solvent as I place it on. So this glue effectively is going to weld the, a the uh, acrylic to the ABS plastic. Almost there. Okay. Put the lid on straight away. Or put the thumbtack on straight away. Am I happy with that? Yeah, I am happy with that. Okay, so let's get this the right way around. Let's make sure my hands are clean on a piece of paper towel. Grab the A and it... Whoop, right way around would help. And it will give me a little bit of time just to manipulate this. So I'll place that on. Again, clean hands. I might want to grab this paper towel here. Make sure my hands are clean again. That is looking really good. Just kind of feeling it with my fingers. And then perhaps I wipe off any excess glue there. I'm not sure. But I'm happy with that. So this is going to probably take about 10 minutes to dry now. And what would have been a good idea here would have been to, to get something to put on it to help it dry, something heavy to place on it. What have I got here? I've got a I've got my glasses case. Again, just making sure that everything is perfectly aligned, cleaning my fingers every time. Okay, I'm going to stop there, come back in 10 minutes. Okay, so that's been about uh, 10 minutes. Um, and um, that's pretty awesome, I have to say. I'm really pleased with that. Making sure it's all glued. Yeah, that feels fine. Can't see any glue marks on the front face of the acrylic. I'm just going to make sure there's no excess solvent there on the outside. It has just dripped down a little bit, but the key thing is that there's nothing on this front frosted acrylic face. That looks really, really cool. Whoops, there you go. I can see it better now. In fact, I want to minimize that for the time being. I didn't want that to be there. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, this video is going from bad to worse. Uh, let's have a look. Let's plug this in. Let's just make sure everything's okay still. So the, the socket there in the back still looks super neat and that looks pretty awesome I have to say I'm really pleased with that if I compare that to the to the S that I made before here um, obviously the socket is is much much neater uh, as I said this one here this is a mini USB and I just did a general cutout uh, without having access to the actual socket itself so I kind of guesstimated actually having this neat profile here is so much tidier um, I also think as well that the, the 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 thickness of the letters is much better on the A. Having those extra five millimeters of, of 3D print has really really helped there. Um, and as well, let's have a see. Can I plug this in? Two years, I think I can. I've also managed to solve the problem there with the the shadow of almost the shadow there of the uh, of the printed circuit board. Now it looks like what has actually happened here is I have still got a shadow here and I think that is the shadow of the wire. I'm pretty certain the wire is sticking out the front there and causing that problem to occur which actually is really really bothering me. Now I see it that's really annoying but it is definitely better than this. And just as well to show you how things worked out for the um, the S in terms of the soldering. That's what I wanted to show you. There you go. Um, 
this is how I arranged the LED strip with the S and you can see I had to use quite a lot of copper tape there to connect the, the cut wires together and in this particular case it looks like it was the five yes yeah, sometimes it's the negative rail that I've had to cut as I've looped out in this direction and then here I've had to cut the positive five volt rail. Um, I also had smaller bits of copper tape here this was my initial attempt and I, and I was finding the tape was peeling away so that's why for the A I was working with um, with, with like squares of copper tape, a little bit bigger in size. Um, I sewed the wires in here. This looks like it's two white wires, but actually it's some ribbon cable and one is pale gray and the other one's white. Um, and uh, I've sewn them in again, like I did do on the A. Um, what else do I have on here? Whoop, no, I don't want to show you that. Wrong way. <laughs> okay, uh, this, is the, this is the underside here. You see the wire sticking out. This is the thing mounted into the S. Here you can see how I've used the glue gun again to attach uh, the printed circuit board for the uh, mini USB socket. But this is again where it's it's kind of, you know, you can see the shadow quite badly there. I've tried to make sure here, however, that the wires are not causing a shadow and I think it's been a bit more successful. Uh, I need to go this way, don't I? There it is, my test for an illuminator looking all very pretty. And then there's the final version again that you can see me showing here as well. So that... That is pretty awesome, I think.